what is the difference between low and high powered PMF devices? Now, the first and most obvious thing to mention when we're comparing low power versus high power PMF is that the two really cannot be compared at all. It's kind of like comparing a Porsche versus a skateboard. They both have four wheels and can take you from A to B, but a Porsche is a lot faster, a lot better, a lot more comfortable than trying to go from, say, Florida to Canada on a skateboard. Would be completely crazy but you could probably do it quite well in a Porsche. It's also if you imagine throwing something into a pond. Um, low power would be like throwing a piece of sand into a pond. You wouldn't be able to hear it or you, you wouldn't be able to see it possibly and if you throw a rock into a pond which would be like high power PMF you would be able to hear it you'd be able to see it and you'd definitely be able to observe the effect that it would have on the pond afterwards. Um, but if you actually grab a handful of sand, for instance, it would have a much better effect. So low power works in a cumulative way over a long period of time. Um, so it's not really efficient for treating chronic conditions like uh, chronic pain. And because of its low current, it can only penetrate roughly two to three centimeters deep. But if you're using a high power current, the magnetic fields would definitely travel further into the body up to a foot in air and would be able to penetrate right deep into the body, even as far as the bone. What I would like to know is, is and I appreciate the analogy, which is good, uh, brings things into perspective, but just the main difference, I don't care, you don't have to go specific machine, the main difference is Okay, so it's important to remember that the Earth that we live on is like a big magnetic field generator. So we believe, of course, that all pulsed electromagnetic fields are good for you, whether they are low power or high power. Uh, it's important to remember that. But there's definitely a place, obviously, for low power PMF, and there's a place for high power PMF. The low power PMF would be for uh, small problems, less chronic problems, and for the home kind of treatment method. And the high power PMF would definitely be for more medical institutions uh, where the machine would be used by trained professionals and for much more chronic problems that need um, specific kind of treatment and to be used with guidance so that the patient would not over treat themselves because it is possible to be over treated with the high power PMF of course that means that we need some level of safety and professionalism when using these machines so to summarize there the uh, low power machines could could be used by children even in the home and there would be nothing um, wrong with doing that um, and the high power machines would take a little bit more training to understand how to use them and the effects that it would have on the body. And the next point is about low power devices. Uh, low power devices use a, a, a Rife type technology. Uh, Royal Raymond Rife was a scientist uh, from Germany who developed a theory based on the phenomenon of resonance. Now resonance is a very interesting thing and it says that all shapes or all um, cells or pathogens or things in nature have a specific frequency. So you can imagine uh, good things have good frequencies and bad things have bad frequencies. Healthy things have healthy frequencies and unhealthy things have unhealthy frequencies. Now you can test out the resonant frequency of a room. For instance, if uh, you go into a small room like a toilet, you can hum at a specific frequency. And when you hit the right frequency, the whole room will appear to vibrate really, really loudly. Now this phenomenon can be used to actually do good things and to do bad things. Um, in the case of healthy frequencies, uh, resonance can be actually used to entrain a cell, to reinforce a cell and its healthy frequency, its correct or right frequency. And in, the, in terms of pathogens and things that are generally weaker than the human body cell. In the center of the screen is a clump of pancreatic cancer cells like a microtumor under the microscope. We turn on our electronic signals and the tumor shrinks 
and is broken up. The cells are disconnecting, disaggregating, the opposite of forming a tumor. Uh, these would be running on unhealthy frequencies, which when the resonant note has been found, they will actually disintegrate or explode because of their weaker, their weaker constituent. The low power devices often aim uh, at a frequency between one to 60 hertz in this range and they think that all healing really occurs in this range. That's why they focus on it, and they ignore the rest of the other frequencies, of which there are thousands upon thousands of healthy frequencies that they're ignoring here. Um, the difference being with the high-power PMF that we're actually using something called a spark gap. Uh, the spark gap is a natural phenomenon. It's just like a lightning bolt, but a very, very small one contained in a very small space. Um, we actually use the resonant frequency of the Earth, which is called the Schumann resonance frequency. The Schumann resonant frequency has often been referred to as the heartbeat of Mother Earth and is a natural frequency. So we use this frequency as the carrier wave and upon the carrier wave we would carry in all of the other frequencies contained within that natural lightning bolt, that natural spark gap which we produce in our machines. So we've got a multitude of frequencies which um, may or may not be known to common literature, all contained within natural, this natural lightning bolt called the spark gap. Now of course the low power machines are just using simple circuits to produce their frequencies and would therefore completely ignore all of these other frequencies and just be focusing on the 1 to 60 hertz range which is highly limited. Now the next important difference that I want to, to mention is the fact that the low power PMF is not really measurable or quantifiable. Uh, you can't feel it, you can't see it and you definitely can't hear it. Um, when I tried the uh, low power machines and the mattresses I didn't even know if it was actually on. I thought it was broken. I was about to send it back and uh, we continued to push through, try to experiment with the machine. And at the end, uh, my mother, who I gave it to, ended up uh, calling me on the phone and saying, uh, we don't need the machine anymore. It's not really doing anything. Uh, can you send it back? By which time it was a little bit too late to do anything. Now, I originally assumed that this uh, PMF mattress, would I would be able to feel it and that it was, you know, the, the best and the most powerful in its class and that's why I bought it in the first place. But when I actually read into the user manual, it said that the power rating was no different than a mobile phone, at, at which point I was like, okay, so... I, I can imagine mobile phones are bad for you, you know, they heat up the brain and they, they work on the wrong type of frequencies, but I couldn't imagine, you know, buying a mobile phone which was supposed to be healthy for you, sitting on the phone and expecting it to actually heal my mother who had chronic pain. Um, yeah, they don't even produce any heat, these mattresses, so there's even less, there's really a, a much less quantifiable effect than possibly even a mobile phone. Uh, however, they, they probably would utilize the placebo quite well. Um, not to say that the placebo is a bad thing because placebos in medicine can account from between 10 to 60 percent of any healing occurrence. It's actually documented, well documented in uh, common health literature that the placebo is actually a very, very a useful thing. But then when you look at high power PMF, you can feel it, definitely feel it, you can hear it, and you can even see the effect when your, your muscles are responding to the electrical impulses. So you definitely know that it's working. It gives you that feeling and it gives you that buzz. Like after I finish using high power PMF, I'm, I'm laughing, I, I like just having a giggle to myself. Like every time seems to, seems to happen to me. I'm not quite sure why, but perhaps it's just because the the feeling is is so interesting is so intense and so so different it's like nothing else I've ever felt before so I, I always enjoy my um, my sessions on the high power devices much more uh, they're also measurable in terms of blood and what do I mean by that um, now before before you go and uh, have a go on one of these machines, 
you should take a, a blood sample and you'll be able to see under a microscope that the cells in the blood might be sticking together. It's called clumping, which reduces their ability to function, reduces their ability to carry oxygen, reduces their ability to vibrate in, in their own space with their own charged frequency, specific frequency or resonance. Um, now, if you take a blood sample after having a high power therapy session, then you'll be able to see that the blood flow is increased. You'll be able to see the distance between the cells is increased, that they're actually vibrating then at their natural frequency. They have space to move around and they're slipping over each other and they're a lot more fluid and they can do the job that they're supposed to do because they're actually resonating at their proper frequency, meaning that they are serving the proper functions of uh, yeah, what they are supposed to do in the body. Another pro about the high power PMF is that um, the more unhealthy a cell, the greater the change when the pulse comes across the cell. So when you, when you have a great change in unhealthy to healthy, you'll be able to feel that. So the feeling is, is slightly more pain. And we know that change is painful and of course that pain is actually healing in the body. Pain is inflammation and inflammation is healing. It's the body trying to heal itself. So what you can do with high power PMF is actually utilize the body's own intelligence to help you to find places in the body which need healing first. And I, I like to say to my mother who uh, has chronic pain to chase the pain with love. <laughs> So you can actually chase the pain with magnetic fields in this case, which is very, very useful indeed. Um, now, chronic disease is a lot different to uh, low-level disease, of course. Chronic disease is slow. It creeps on very slowly over time. Uh, things like cancer, uh, yeah, this is how cancer works. So they creeps on over time. You don't really notice the pain there. Um, and you can't really feel it until it's too late. So chronic pain is something that will be highlighted with this machine because it will, it will cause you to be able to feel the chronic problems in the body as the unhealthy cells will definitely respond to this level of magnetic field pulsing. Now this would enable the practitioner to follow the pain around the body and will over time of course allow the patient if the patient is allowed to use the machine to follow the uh, pain around the body perhaps uh, being able to treat themselves now each person is different so what do i mean by that each person has their own shape their own pattern their own history so the disease in that person will also have its own shape its own pattern and its own history and often uh, a disease has a root cause and will need to be healed in the correct order now pmf really gives you the keys to this pattern and it helps you to unlock the healing code or the healing process in the right order by using the the amplitude of the body's own feedback mechanisms to heal itself. So what you'll be doing is, is chasing the, the pain around the body or chasing the feeling around the body, healing the right things in the right order, in the right way, which is a far more effective way of healing chronic pains and getting to the root cause. A uh, trick that we like to do is to uh, heal the feet first. You will be pulsing the feet and they'll be feeling the pulsing in the feet and then suddenly the, the feeling will move to the kidneys or to the liver and it often moves to the right place at the right time so it will move to the most damaged or the most stressed organ that needs attention first. Now because the low power one you can't really feel it and don't really know if the machine is switched on it's kind of based on trust which is, is similar to the placebo but uh, like we said before placebo is still a very useful tool in healing. Um, I like to to say that it's, it's similar to, or low power PMF is similar to homeopathy. So it's the homeopathy of PMF. Um, as in, it works 
on a very subtle level and works well over time. So something that you can use or that you can take home to use, and the whole family can use, you can even sleep with it for a longer periods of time will help you to sleep. And when we do sleep very well, of course, that's when a lot of uh, healing takes place, which is very useful as well. Something else I'd just like to finish off with about the information based on high power PMF is it's very misunderstood uh, and uh, I'll tell you the reason why. There was once a person that came to our company, uh, he was doing a comparison website comparing uh, low power PMF versus high power and his, his business model was basically an affiliate business model where he would collect all the machines together and put them onto one, one website and he came to us, approached us and offered to put us on the top of his website if we paid him uh, lots of money and because our machines are £60,000 he was a bit <laughs> when we told him that we didn't want to do that. So when we declined this gentleman's kind offer to work with us Instead of promoting us, he actually decided to try to destroy uh, high power PMF. Um, yeah, which is doing the opposite by pretending that high power PMF is dangerous in an attempt to trash and bag the entire market for himself, which is basically a little bit selfish. Um, and I think it's bad business ethics because for most people, the general public, it's very hard to see that what he's telling you is actually is false information. It's actually very dangerous inf information because he keeps the fact that high power PMF is very good for chronic problems and chronic pain and uh, keeps those people from finding the answers that they need. And as a quick summary or analogy, I like to think of chronic disease as a, like a very, very big rock. Uh, it has a lot of inertia. And inertia is, is basically the force that you need to get something moving. Uh, so you need a lot of power to get the ball rolling uh, in chronic diseases so that afterwards it can continue to move under its own momentum. Uh, but to actually get those big chronic problems moving in the first place, you do need that uh, power that only high power PMF can give you. Uh, and in, in this kind of sense, uh, low power PMF really cannot hold a candle in terms of um, working with chronic conditions that high power PMF can do quite easily.